EastEnders latest update. Star Molly Rainford opens up on relationship with Strictly co-star Grey Atkins. Star Toby Alexander-Smith looks unrecognizable in secret new TV role. Boss Chris Clenshaw confirms Christmas story for the Beals. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. After watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. EastEnders star Molly Rainford opens up on relationship with Strictly co-star. EastEnders actress Molly Rainford has opened up on her relationship with radio DJ Tyler West. The former Britain's Got Talent finalist first locked eyes with the KISS FM radio star on season 20 of Strictly Come Dancing last year. Strictly is notoriously known for destroying relationships however, it seems the couple's love for one another has continued to blossom since leaving the show. During her time on the BBC show, Molly made it to the final alongside professional dancer Carlos Gu, before losing out to Hamza Yassin and his partner Joita Prezistal. Meanwhile, Tyler was paired with Diane Buswell and bowed out halfway through the contest. In an interview with Fabulous Magazine, Molly opened up about her new romance with Tyler, as she revealed, I suppose it developed towards the end of the tour, because we'd spent so much time together and we were really good friends. The tour was so much fun. We were just doing everything together, and it just progressed from there really. Molly also explained that it was Tyler who made the first move and asked her to go out on a date once the tour had finished. She added, he was like, do you think when we get back, we could go on a date? And I was like, yeah, all right, I was totally up for it. Everyone on Strictly was so excited for us. They kind of wanted it to happen all the way through the show, and we were like, no, we are trying to be professional. At just 22, Molly has already achieved huge telly success, originally as a contestant on BGT in 2012, and a presenter on Friday Download as a preteen and teenager. From there, she would go on to star in CBBC's musical science fiction series Nova Jones as the title character from 2021, before landing a spot in the BBC's Strictly Celebrity lineup last year. Molly has also had success on the pop charts, having released two EPs since 2019. Most recently though, she was recently cast as Anna Knight in EastEnders, who's part of the new family who have moved into the Queen Vic. EastEnders' Grey Atkins star Toby Alexander-Smith looks unrecognizable in secret new TV role. Ex-EastEnders star Toby Alexander-Smith has confirmed a new acting role more than a year on from his exit from the BBC One soap. The 32-year-old is famed for playing Walford supervillain Grey Atkins for three years between 2019 and 2022, when the serial killer was finally caught and arrested for his crimes in a tense showdown. But it appears the actor has landed a part in a major period drama, and his fans are hoping it's the Netflix series Bridgerton. Taking to Instagram on Sunday, June 25, the dad of one shared a photo of himself dressed in a very elaborate costume consisting of a white cravat and matching shirt worn underneath a blue waistcoat. He also donned knee-high boots worn over a pair of fitted trousers for the ultimate regal look. In the snap, Toby Alexander sits on an elegant chair with one hand sleekly touching his knee as he looks at the camera appearing with a longer hairstyle. Teasing his new television or movie role, Toby Alexander captioned the image, Who's the new guy? Fans of the star wasted no time in speculating which period drama Toby Alexander will be starring in as one person wrote, Please say Bridgerton. A second stated, Hoping this is Bridgerton, while a third chimed in with, A Bridgerton perhaps. Toby Alexander Smith fans will have to wait to see what show or movie he will be appearing in but you can keep up to date with the actor here. EastEnders boss Chris Clenshaw confirms Christmas story for the Beals. EastEnders spoilers follow. EastEnders boss Chris Clenshaw has confirmed a big Christmas story for the Beals this year. 
Fans will know that Cindy Beal recently made a shocking return to the soap after 25 years away when it was revealed that Cindy is George Knight's missing wife Rose and she has been living abroad with her ex-husband Ian and their son Peter. With Adam Woodyatt officially returning to the role of Ian Beale, along with Thomas Law, who has reprised his role as their son Peter, the Beals will be spending Christmas together on the square. Speaking to Digital Spy and other media, Clenshaw said, It's Ian and Cindy's first Christmas back in Walford, and it will be a big Christmas in the Beale house. Meanwhile, Clenshaw opened up about what to expect in the Beals' future, saying that, even though Cindy has mellowed out during her time away, her old personality will soon surface. Cindy is a little softer through everything that has gone on, Clenshaw said. But what comes quite apparent later in the year, when she returns to Walford, is that it doesn't take long before we see flashes of the old Cindy Beal. She still has it, and there's some absolute dynamic between Cindy and Kathy. Elsewhere, Clenshaw opened up about Michelle Collins' return to the role. It's been 25 years, and a lot has changed. Cindy's a bit of a different woman now. What we don't learn in tonight's episode, but what will become much clearer is how they got back together just over a year ago and how she really relied on Ian. Ultimately, at the end of the day, Ian is just hopelessly in love, isn't he? Love is blind when it comes to Ian, the hopeless romantic, so I don't think it took a lot for him to be brought back into Cindy's world. But also there's a bit of insecurity in that. Thanks for watching these videos. Please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.